Hi everyone, my name is Sandy Shea Brown and I'm a programming manager at the New Orleans Film Society. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Sundance Beyond conversation for the film Ma Belle, My Beauty by director Marion Hill. You'll be hearing from actor Adela Johnson, who plays the role of Birdie in the film, and executive producer Gina Charbonnet as they talk about the nuances of Black female sexuality on screen, and in this film in particular. So stay tuned. We hope you enjoy the conversation as well as the film and your Sundance experience. Thanks. Hi, Della. Hi, Gina. <laughs> so good to see you. Nice to see you too. You know, I've seen you recently, you know, in My Bell, My Beauty, but it has been a minute since we've seen each other. And, okay. you know, just um, kudos to you. Yeah. you. Yeah, for portraying such a intriguing character, especially in regards to how Black women are seen on screen. So I am just excited to be here. Congratulations to you and Marion, you know, Thank on this you. Sundance Thank premiere. It's an honor. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. There's so much to talk about with this film. Yeah. <laughs> it's very so... complex. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie is so complex. So I, I, want to, I want to ask you, like, what did you pull from to portray Birdie? Like, was it, were there any like parts of you were authentically Birdie in how you portrayed her? Yeah, I, I think so. I think um, one of the, the things, and uh, I'm trying not to get too personal, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think one of the things that I connected with first and foremost was um, this idea of being free you know, whether that's traveling overseas, you know, to another country, mm -hmm. trying to live out your dreams as a singer. So that was one thing I connected with. Um, but also just the freedom to love and be, be with whom I wanted to be with, you know, um, and having, um, having say so you know, having a bit of control over um, how her love life is orchestrated. You know, um, I think, um, <laughs> I think sometimes, you know, I, I have a bit of that in me that, um, that I won't say controlling nature, but I, I do think that I can be controlling, you know, when it comes to things that I truly care about and things that I hold near and dear. Um, um, yes, I, I connected really uh, a lot with that. And also um, the fact that, you know, most of us artists, performers, musicians, you know, sometimes, you, you know, we kind of struggle with, uh, you know, um, when we're trying to live out our dreams, we, we kind of we kind of have this struggle of real life, what's going on in real life behind the scenes, you know, that kind of thing and how to balance the two. So um, that was definitely a, a starting point. Part of you. How I could, so, her. Yeah. And as we talk about that, so how was it, be, you know, being a black lead actress, which is, is it was in such a non-traditional role for black actress, right? Yeah. And as we have spoken about before, I think Birdie's character again is so intriguing because it portrays a black woman in a very um, different way. Yeah, I think it, it portrays her sexuality um, in a different way. Like she's not being exoticized. She is someone who owns her sexuality, like Birdie's own sexuality. It's amazing how, you know, Marion Hill wrote this character. So how do you also feel about, you know, portraying a woman who is polyamorous? <laughs> polyamorous and queer. Um, well, that, to be honest with you, that, um, that, that was a bit of a challenge in the beginning because um, as you know, as a black woman, you know, we don't want to be judged. You know, we, so we try to live a certain lifestyle. We try to walk a certain line. Um, and I think once I just let that go and said, you know, okay, to hell with that. Let me just, let me just try this. Let me just try this. Um, it, it felt really good. It felt really good. Um, I will say, 
I would say first and foremost, uh, just being in touch with my body, sexually, my body, um, and walking around brawless and stuff like that, you know, and not to put together, you know. Well, um, you know so it's, it's definitely the freedom you felt, I think, in a number yeah, of ways. Yeah, that freedom, that freedom. And then once once I, I started doing that, being brawless and being free and just, you know, not too much makeup on and stuff like that, um, the rest kind of fell in place. Um, and and it, it helped once uh, I met my co-star, uh, Hannah, uh, who plays Lane, um, in her audition. I, I read with her in her audition, and there was just this immediate spark, you know? Mm. <laughs> it was like a weird thing. She made me giddy. She made me feel nervous, you know? Um, she was very sexy in the, the way that she, you know, came across and read her lines and, and you know, it was so natural and sexy. It just, it made me just like, swoon a bit you know and so when she oh. left the room I was like that's her <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know she made me feel things yeah you know? that's so, awesome yeah and so I just went with it you know what I'm saying I just I just went with it you know and of course there's so many complex layers to to her that Marion added but uh I just I just went with the freedom of it you know yeah, I know we talked about before, I know being from New Orleans, we talked about judgment and also, you know, I think that faith and culture play a big part, you know, in who we are as women, especially coming from New Orleans and it being so small and you talk about judgment. So, you know, we talked about earlier, you know, just about the sex scene. Yes. Um, which I, I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, get too much away, <laughs> but the sex scene, so, you know, in, 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 in watching the sex scene, you know, how did you, what did you, what did you do to prepare for that sex scene is the question. I had a lot of talks with Marion. <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of <laughs> had a lot of talks with Marion. We had, we came to the table so many times, uh, you know, and I guess I want to say that, you know, um, I guess I can say this. This is my first time with a woman, you know, uh -huh. um, I find women very sexy. I've always have, you know, um, I've always been attracted like to, you know, women and it's not just the sexiness like like societal uh beauty or body and stuff like that it's just it's just women just have you know we have a thing to us you know I this is very it's a, it's a sensuality as it's I a call sensuality it. that sensuality. is sensuality i've always been drawn to you know mm -hmm. and um but i will say this i will say i grew up in the church um grew up very um, religious family we were in church every week, every Sunday, Bible study, choir rehearsal, everything. And um, church sometimes twice a day, um, traveling to other churches. Um, but throughout my childhood and growing up, um, I will say um, I've experienced some bad theology along the way that kind of tainted um, how I see myself sexually and how I relate sexually to other people mm -hmm. um and that is one thing that literally in my recent years before before this role even came about that i have been shedding that i have mm -hmm. been shedding and mm -hmm. working to shed you mm -hmm. know in mm -hmm. you know this person you know and um and just been trying to own it own it and like you know feel it like i'm a sexual person like i had a friend tell me once he was like girl you just have such sexual energy when I'm, and I'm like that was shoon i told you that it was shoon energy you know is that is that you. Energy, you know, <laughs> yeah, you so, are and owning that too yeah. so and so it, it felt very free and very real and i loved it um i loved it the the sex scene uh, without giving too much away it was magical. It was just so freeing. Like I, I think by the end of it, you know, without giving too much away, but by the end of it, me and Hannah was like, <laughs> 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 we both passed out, you yeah. know. Yeah. But it, it was very giving and love, very loving. Yeah, so very that's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was definitely you know very giving and very loving. But I also feel like. Marion being a woman director too, um, I 
I mean, and, and again, I'm not an actress. I don't know what that feels like to be directed, you know, by a male versus a female. Yeah, but, but you've seen things that was directed by a Yes, I mean, yeah. of course. And I just think that it was such a, such a tender, like, loving, like, accumulation. <laughs> Yeah. of the tension because you know as as a story it's such a visual tale you know again of this complicated woman and like i told you it's it's black girl magics all all day i mean i think <laughs> black girl relates to your character so much because i think it's it's that it's that sort of balance between control immorality i think in 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 that role you also again was 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 delicately delicately like like really kind of shaped away or or, or sort of shedding his layers and getting to the freedom part. So that's, that's what I really saw, you know, in, in your character, which again, I think is amazing. Wow. Um, because I don't know if too many black actresses actually get an opportunity to portray a role such as Birdie, yeah. you know, and to be, uh, you know, loved by two people in, in two very <laughs> different ways. I mean, yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, so how was that for you? Did you, did you, does the character, did you, did you feel the ebb and flow of the love, you know, between? Yes, I did. Which worked very well, by the way, because I am a Gemini. Duality. Uh, <laughs> <and so laughs> okay, all right. I'm I'm a a personality. And so that was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. Like, I got the best of both worlds, and they were both, you know, beyond, beyond them being their characters, just the, they were both very giving and loving people and uh, made it very easy and made it like, man, this is a wonderful situation, you know, that, um, that I, I, I find, I find intriguing. I find intriguing. Um, but, you know, I don't know how much we can give away. I'm trying not to give away anything. <laughs> I don't give away too much either. Um, yeah, um, but. I, I will say. Well, I think you know we. What everyone know that I, I'm a new, I would be my character is a newlywed, just moved to France. So, um, and then we get the surprise visit from our our ex. You know that we all were in a polyamorous relationship with. Um, and you know it's it's complex because I think. It was wonderful for Birdie to have the best of both worlds, but then you got you get this kind of struggle of someone wanting more. Mm -hmm. You know, someone wanting more. And I don't know if that that if that's always the case, and I can't speak for every polyamorous relationship, but in this relationship, you know, people want. So you more. think so? <laughs> and asking that, so did you think i mean you of course birdie did did birdie want more or was she conflicted about wanting more she wanted more definitely but i would say she she knows what she can handle okay she knows what she can handle um, she's, she knows what she can handle. And it's like, um, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to make her sound selfish, but it's, um, it's just, it's just a person who knows what she wants and she knows what she don't want. Yeah. And I think that's something we talked about previously too. Yeah. About so how she's juggling this thing, you know, she, she's trying to balance it all and, 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 and knowing what she wants and knowing what she don't want at the same time, because most people just know what they don't want and they lead with that. I don't want that. So I'm, you know, um, but she knows she's, she understands both. She's mature enough. She's made it, made it past several years of her life where she's mature enough to know, you know, and I think it's having that perfect balance is what she but really is there perfect balance in love <laughs> probably not but i mean it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt to fight for it or yeah and that's to me yeah. that's the beauty of the story is that it does show the tension and struggle i think yeah. you know um and to your character is dealing with some things too yeah. uh yeah. she's dealing know, with some depression because she right. just lost her mom you know, she just mm -hmm. lost her mom, which, which is really funny because around that time, my grandmother was um, very ill and I, I ended up losing my grandmother. 
um, oh, sorry. like yeah. right after, literally, uh, right after, uh, right this earlier this year, we lost her in April. And, mm -hmm. um, but we knew that, you know, uh, we've spent, we spent time enough with Noir that it was, it was near. Um, yeah. uh, I definitely, you know, she was dealing with the depression of that, but also being in a new place mm -hmm. because it's like, you ever get the feeling um, that where you live at sometimes, you know, when things get bad and things get rough, you're like, I just want to go away. Yeah, you know? of course. I just want to get a plane ticket and just go away. I just want to run away or whatever, you know, and you feel like, you know, if I just go somewhere else, I'll be fine, you know, but that wasn't the case. You know, it was a struggle for her in France. First of all, she, it, it was hard for her to pick up the language, you know, um, and, you know, that kind of weighed on her, you know, so it kind of all came to a head. She lost, she had lost Lane who had left, left her and they had a pretty strong relationship. And I'm just giving some backstory stuff. Yeah. You know, they had a, when they were together, they had some pretty, a pretty strong bond and, uh, Oh, you, like, de you definitely get that because I, I, it, it's amazing to see how Lane um, can can emotionally, I think, uh, was translated physically to give you know uh, Birdie what she needs, and and that's not going to come from some fly by night relationship. Absolutely, right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, so you know, it's it's like I said, it's such a beautifully done story, and your character, like I said, is so complex. And again, I'm just you know, so intrigued by this character, again, because coming from the background that I come from, you know, dealing with the entertainment industry and, and how Black women are also portrayed, I really think about, like, how do you think this role was, I mean, do you think this role was to empower Black women to actually, you know, speak up more or, you know, maybe be more yeah, free? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, a lot of us, uh, I'm going to say a lot of us, I, I will say personally for myself, um, it's, it's wonderful to be able to speak your truth and honor that even when things are rough and hard and tough, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that was one thing I do like. I, that I, I say that that's the that's some magic. That's some magic mm -hmm. there. You know, being able to say, you know, this is who I am. This is who I am. You know, right. that's that's important too. I think because you talked about how she had control and what she wanted. Um, and to me, just in the just in the visual portrayal, you know, and, and as we get to know your character, you know, like I said, she has some pretty heated moments, you know, with with Lane and yeah, her husband's her husband, but. <laughs> <laughs> you can control easily. It's like you don't have that same emotional sort of tension, you know. Yeah. But say that it's a different thing with her husband, you know. Yeah, and you do it's talk about. Different. Yeah, you talk about owning your happiness. Like you tell Lane, like your happiness. You know, my happiness does not depend on you. Like you were like, yeah. hold up, you know, it doesn't depend on you. Yeah. You know what happened to you that you know brought you back into my life? Like, yeah. But and you know, you know her you husband, her husband, her husband is he's loyal. He's dependable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, who wouldn't want that, you know? Oh, absolutely. And, 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 and he's a caregiver. He's very caring, you know? And nurturing, um, which again is a yeah. role, I think, for a man and what we've seen, especially mm -hmm. how um, Black women are being taken care of, too. Because yes. to me, it's yeah. like we don't see the character that you portray too often. And that's one thing, you know, when Mary and I do talk about the film, I just something that really just got me more invested was like, oh my God, like, this is like, she's like having a whole, this is a whole black woman story that, you know, <laughs> it's so different. Like it, it was just so refreshing. Um, and you took the role and you killed it. Thank you. You, know, you killed it. And um, I'm just so happy, you know, that you were able to share all these parts of you you know, with us, the audience, and, and showing to that Black women are multidimensional, um, yeah. and that we don't have to be, you know, exoticized um, when it comes to our sexuality, like and, sexuality. You know, and it's funny that you say that, because, um, I mean, how this whole thing came about, um, when I first met Mary, I met Marion at the um, New Orleans Film uh, Festival, 
and um, we were we were premiering Blood Runs Down at the time, and um, I mean, the, I wasn't playing a love interest in Blood Runs Down. I was playing a mama who was going through some stuff, and <laughs> you know, um, it was a horror film, so you know she's going through some, some dark, dark stuff and and her and her daughter. And so um, after the film, I, I um, from one of our our our, our, our features. Uh, when we were featured, I walked out onto the balcony and um, Marion was, was on the balcony and she just kept catching, you know, just the energy was pulling yeah. me mm -hmm. and she just kept catching my eye. And I was just like, um, just kept looking at her. And I never do this. Let me tell you, I never walk up to say hi to people. Like, I mean, I just, I mean, I just don't do it. <laughs> and so I, I walked up to her because she was, her energy was pulling me. And I just, I was like, I said, hi. How are you? And she said, I'm fine. She said, um, I, I, I wrote a script that I think that you would be wonderful. And she just came straight out with it. And I was like, okay. And she was like, what do you think about polyamory? I was like, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I never tried it, but I mean, I'm not against it either, you know? Yeah. Um, but she was like, yeah, I have this character. I think you would be perfect. And so we met several times after that. And, um, and it's just, it's just crazy to me that, that she just saw that she saw me as the character, you know, um, which says a lot that it, it wasn't, she, you know, she, it wasn't like she pulled me from some glamorous, you know, um, movie or from me, you know, you know, portraying like this person who's just really free in her sexuality, you know, um, and and she just uh, basically wrote this character from just, I don't know what, but we talked a lot. Me and her, we yeah. talked a lot. And I think she's, I think she just made a very, she made a real person. Yeah, and it's so many, I mean, I guess it, it's, you know? it, it, it just the film reminds me of like Vicky Christina Barcelona. Yes. Oh, our poem by your name, it's so beautifully done and it's such a beautiful setting, like I said, and you know, oh, setting. Yeah. Oh my God. Beautiful. The setting was beautiful. Setting was very romantic and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ab absolutely. And like I said, Mary is just a multi-talented, you know, filmmaker, producer, editor, everything. And just it's so, again, I'm just so excited, you know, again, yes. to yeah. see it as the main. I mean, she did an amazing job and she pulled all of these people together as far as like people she went to school with, friends and, you know, um, you know, I think uh, once, Issa, I think Issa Rae said something about like, you know, um, you want to, people want to network up you know, and stuff like that. And they want to work with everyone who's above them and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it was this whole thing of like, just like Issa Rae said, she networked across, you know? So she reached out and pulled friends and this person who does this and that. And, 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 and that's what she did. And she brought us all to France and her, and it, by the way, the, the place that we filmed that was like her family's home where yeah. she grew up. And she brought all of us there and, the relationships and the bond, the bond that we had making this film, like the crew, the actors, I mean, everybody, the, 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 the community, the neighbors, I mean, it, it, it was, it was a dream come true, but it was just so like such a blessing, you know, like. Yeah. And you can tell the labor, it's definitely labor of love and definitely. That's, yeah. And that's what to me, is a product of just Marion because Marion's just yeah. like a big ball of, you know, <laughs> just like calm, zen energy and very humble, you know. Yeah. And Every time I see her, she still has that same energy from the beginning. Yeah. That energy just, and so the first thing, I mean, I mean, I hate COVID and all this kind of stuff <laughs> going on because, you know, she has this energy where you, when you see her, you just, girl, give me a hug, you know, you yeah. just want to please her. And, I, and that's what I usually do when I see her. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, she's awesome. And just her directing, you know, she was very good at, um, we would go, we would go into a scene and she would give me three levels to play, you know, um, and you know, I'm not gonna tell you what the three levels are, but she would give me these three levels and we would film those three levels, you know? 
Um, and at first it was like, mm, okay, mm, I kind of had another idea in mind, but okay, I'll, I'll try that. Um, and it just worked so beautiful. I mean, the, the emotional arc of this character and the story itself works so well because of her directing. You know, I, I really, I, I, it was definitely a, a team effort, a joint effort. So any last words about your character after seeing yourself, you know, and on, I, I'm, I assume you've seen the film. It, right? it, it, man, it put me in deep thought. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a lot to you. I watched it because it's like watching it in real time. You know, when you, you, you're working and you're planning and you're in it, you know, you, I mean, you just, you don't, cause you don't get to watch your own story. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't get to step outside of ourselves and watch our life just play before us, you know? And it just, it felt like that when I was watching it. I'm like, man. And it's premiering at Sundance, which is. It's, oh my God, yeah. Talk about the dream come true. I mean, I, yeah. I, had, visions, I had visions that I was gonna be, <laughs> I'm not even lying yeah. I had visions that I was going to be a lead and a lead in a film as, and it was going to premiere at Sundance. You know, this is just the, I, I'm gonna say, I have so many, I have so many visions I think that have come to pass, but this is one of them that came to pass. That's right. And I think that's amazing. I think, you know, it's projection. It's, you know, all, uh, visualizing what you want. Visualizing, manifesting, uh, you know. Exactly. And, I mean, and what a manifestation. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's right. This film is just a beautiful man manifestation of love. Yeah. And with such a strong character. So thank you for giving us Birdie. Thank you. Thank you. I was I will say I every role that I play, I, I tend to take something from them. And one thing I took from Birdie was just this grounding. Just just this grounded um and being comfortable with what I want and right and owning it. And being owning free. it. You're and owning it. Mm -hmm. You know, and not for anybody else, but for me, you know? So, yeah. I love that. I love, I love that. It. I'm so happy that you related, like you, that you, because I kept, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I relate to this. No, I, I, I really, <laughs> and I'll, you know, I, I, I do relate to it because, you know, being a Black queer woman myself, you know, and having to feel, you know, like I, you know, don't always fit in to always certain sort of mold since I decided to come out, you know, many moons mm -hmm. ago. Um, it was just so, it's so, it was just so, um, how do I want to say this? It's not even relatable. I just felt like I saw a part of you and me because mm -hmm. I think at some point you do question like, where am I on this sexuality scale? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, uh, I just, I just love that, you know, you portray the character. I think that's very relatable to a lot of women. And I think that also for black women, you know, I think it's important for us to see ourselves portrayed on film. And that's something that you've given us, you know, is a different sort of black woman to actually see on film. Yeah. Um, that's not a drug addict or not a prostitute. or has some kind of traumatic reaction to her sexuality. Yeah. So that in itself was just the beauty of, of who you are and the beauty, the beauty of that role. Um, like I said, the complexity of the role, it was just, it's just an amazing story. And, you know, again, uh, just to visually experience Birdie is something I think the audience is going to love. Um, and, and again, her, her control, as you say, mm -hmm. or it's sort of her ebb and flow of who she is emotionally is something that yeah. is relatable to a lot of women and not just queer women. And, you know, I love that she's a black woman. You're a black woman that's portraying this. Yeah, she's a real person. Mm -hmm. you know, she's a you real person. complexity that yeah. the I don't think black women are, going to, are used to seeing in, in a role. And so again, I just appreciate and applaud you, you know, for doing that. So thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> it, it feels really, really good. It feels really good. You know, I was like, man, is it, it's, it's just a real person. And, the, and it's like you, 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 people will get a chance to just peek into this person's life, you know, you know, right. to find out things that normally you wouldn't find out about someone's real life, you know? So that's the good thing about it. You know, we can get pulled back the curtain and say, Ooh, look at this, you know? So, um, and, and be able to relate to it. And that, that makes me feel really, really good. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I just, the day, that's what I want. Exactly. You know? And I just, 
feel that. I can't say exactly. I don't know what you're feeling, but I'm just saying that. For <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I was like, but for me, I just, I just love, um, just again, I, I know I feel like I'm like, oh my God, uh, you know, I may be a fan, you know, uh, of, of you and your work and, you know, uh, so again, thank you. Thank you, Gina. <laughs>